All right, now it's time for an exercise. So download the file I have attached to this lecture. That's exercise.js. Let's see what's happening here. Here we have some code that is written based on the callback based approach. So we have this function, get customer gets an ID. And in the callback function here, we get a customer object. We do a simple console.log. Now, if the customer is gold, we're going to get the top movies. And here we have another callback function. The argument here is the list of top movies. At this point, we do another console.log. And then finally, we send an email to this customer with the list of top movies. And when we're done, here we have another callback function. In this function, we have a simple console.log statement. So let's run this application and see what happens. Node exercise JS. So it takes about four seconds to get a customer. I changed the timeout so you can see more clearly. Here's our customer object. Then we get the top movies. And finally, we send an email to this customer with the top movies. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to rewrite this code using async and await. So pause the video, do this exercise, and when you're done, come back and continue watching. All right, in order to use async and await, we need to modify our functions here, like get customer or get top movies to return a promise. Once a function returns a promise, then we can await it. So starting with this get customer function, first I'm going to remove the callback. Then I'm going to return a new promise. We pass this callback function, which we call executor. So this function that has two arguments, resolve and reject, we call this executor, okay? Now here in this promise, we're going to add our async code, set timeout. And finally, instead of calling this callback function, we're going to call resolve. Very simple. Now, one more time. This time on get top movies. First, we remove the callback, then return a new promise with resolve and reject. That goes to a code block. And in this code block, we have our async code. And finally, we replace callback with resolve. And one last time. For send email function, again, we remove the callback, return a new promise with resolve and reject. And then put our set timeout function here. And finally, just resolve. Note that here we are not returning any values to the caller of this function. We're simply resolving. This is like a void function that doesn't return a value, okay? So we have modified our functions to return a promise. Now, let's go back to the main code. I'm going to rewrite this here. So you can see both the new code and the old code side by side. So first we need to call get customer with one. This returns a promise so we can await it and then get the customer and store it in this constant. Next, we need to do a console.log. So I'm just going to copy this code from here, paste it here. Then we're going to check if customer is gold. If that's the case, we need to call get top movies. So let me scroll down. Get top movies. Again, this returns a promise, so we can await it and then get the result and store it in this constant. After that, we're going to do another console.log. And then finally, we're going to send an email. So we call send email. Give it two arguments, customer.email and these top movies object. Again, this returns a promise, so we await it. And when we are done, we're going to do another console.log like this. Now, I told you before that whenever you use await, your code should be inside of a function that is decorated with the async modifier. So here I'm going to define a function. Let's call this notify 
customer. You could call it anything, name doesn't really matter. So then we move all this code inside this function and finally decorate this with async. And then we call this function here, notify customer. So now let's compare the new code and the old code side by side. We can see the new code is much easier to read and understand. So let's comment out the old code, run the program, and make sure everything works as we expect. So node exercise.js. It takes about four seconds. Here we should get a customer, beautiful. And then we should get the top movies. Here it is, perfect. And finally, we should send an email.